Hi, welcome to Emergency Medicine Topics in One Coffee. My name is Kieran Sanders. I'm a registrar at the Sydney Adventist Hospital in Sydney. Today in our ultrasound series, we'll be looking at bee lines, specifically on lung ultrasound. Bee lines are narrow vertical artifacts arising from the pleural line. Traditionally, they're said to run to the edge of the ultrasound machine. However, this is not always the case, as we will see in these two examples. See these two images. In one, the bee lines do reach the edge of the screen. In the other, they don't reach the edge of the screen. So it's more true to say that true bee lines always persist much further than other lung ultrasound artifacts, which tend to fade out at about five centimeters. Bee lines always persist at least 10 centimeters. In this talk, I won't discuss their causes in detail, other than to say, like pulmonary edema and fibrosis, they are the crepitations that you can hear with your stethoscope. For a more detailed discussion on the origins of bee lines, please see Jacob Avila's excellent five minute sono talks. Now, we want to talk about maximizing your views of bee lines on lung ultrasound and setting up the ultrasound to create your own lung preset. So, step one, select the curvilinear probe. This is the best probe for seeing bee lines. Right, step two, set the depth to greater than 10 centimeters, typically 15 centimeters, so that you confirm that the things that you think are bee lines actually reach the edge of the screen. Okay. Step three, remember these bee lines are artifacts. Any God-fearing ultrasound machine tries to decrease artifacts. So you need to turn off these filters. Turn off tissue harmonics known as THI or CHI, and also turn off spatial compounding known as SONOCT or multibeam. These names change a bit from machine to machine. But look at the difference. Have a look at these two loops. First with the filter on, the second we've got the filters off. Impressive. Right, step four. Move the focal zone to the level of the pleural line. That's because all lung artifacts are generated at the pleural line and this will considerably sharpen them. Look at the images. This is wrong. The focal zone is too low. Second one. We've moved the focal zone up to the pleural line. Look how sharp the bee lines are now. Can't miss them. Okay. Step five. Finally, it can help to turn up the far gain. Great. Okay. Let's summarize. Bee lines are visualizations of crepitations. They arise at the pleural line and they extend much further than those other lung artifacts. So remembering these steps, that we've gone over. Select the curvilinear probe. Set the depth to 15 centimeters. Turn off those pesky filters. Useful for abdominal scanning, not useful for lung scanning. Make sure your focal zone is at the pleural line and turn up that far gain. Perfect. I think that's about enough for pimping beelines in one coffee. Cheers. See you next time. Happy scanning.